Welcome back to the Appalachian Wireless Arena. We're almost ready for the tip between the Tigers and the Bears. And coach, we got a lot of uh, community support going on tonight. I know we got the Pikeville, uh, what is it, the Minis? The Minis, yep. The uh, Minis will be cheerleading at, uh, at halftime of this game. We have the uh, Grundy Golden Wave over here on the side, a U, one of our youth uh, women's team. Uh, we have a lot of our uh, U-Pike uh, teams here also. And, of course, today is, well, yesterday actually was National Girl and Woman uh, in Sports Appreciation Day, and we're going to honor that tonight as well and carry that over. We're always appreciative of all of our ladies and all the sports and coaches that are on our campus and around. So we'll honor them tonight as well. So a lot of celebration tonight, and one of those celebrations we want to get to is making sure these Lady Bears or the Bears get them a chance to get a good win tonight. Uh, one last thing or two. At halftime, we'll be interviewing Hannah Case, the, the dance team coach here at the University of Park, who actually, actually, actually danced here at the University of Park as well, too. So we'll meet the Tigers. It'll be the, the away team on the scoreboard. Their first start will be number four, Bailey Pedigo, a 5'7", senior from Glasgow, Kentucky. The second start will be number five, Lauren Lee, a 5'7", senior from Liberty, Kentucky, played at Casey County High School. The third start will be number 15, Maddie Boyle, a 5'6", senior from Midgenville, Kentucky, played at Kentucky Wesleyan, transferred. The fourth start will be number 32, Courtney Pritchett, a 5'8", redshirt senior from Birdstown, Tennessee. And the fifth starter will be number 33, Caitlin Wilkes, a 6'2 senior from Stanford, Kentucky, played at Lincoln County High School. The Tigers are coached by Ginger Colvin, her 16th season. 436 wins, 94 losses, a record of 28 wins and two losses against the Bears. And now, now we'll meet the Bears. The first starter will be the Mid-South Conference Player of the Week, number two, Allie Stone. 5'6 freshman from Olive Hill, Kentucky, played at West Carter. The second starter will be number 10, Mary Engler, a 5'8 graduate student from Madeira, Ohio. She played at Madeira High School. Remember, the third starter replacing Morgan Sanford, not being number 14, Sheridan Robbins, a 5'9 sophomore form from Orleans, Indiana, played at Orleans High School. The fourth starter will be number 21, Bailey Frazier, a 5'9 senior from Wise, Virginia, played at Ridgebrook. Ridgeview High School in the fifth starter for the Bears. It'll be number 30, Sierra Feltner, a 5'9 graduate student from Williamsburg, Kentucky, played at Willie County High School. The Bears are coached by Clifton Williams in his seventh season, and Shelby Wheeler is the assistant coach for Coach Williams. In his seventh season, Coach Williams has 122 wins, 82 losses, and a career record versus the Tigers. One win and 11 losses, but Coach, that one win coming in their last matchup this past January. Well, stay hot. Stay we, hot. That's right. We worry about the, uh, the the windshield, not the rearview mirror. Yeah, yes, sir. That's right. Nice crowd. Yeah, people coming, people coming are up. still rolling in from classes and from uh, other commitments with practices coming off work. I kind of like this 530 tip off. Yeah. People can come right from work to the event, and uh, I think we'll have a great turnout. Actually, for a single game, it already is looking great in here. Be Feltner and Wilkes. Jumping center with the Bears and the Tigers, and we're ready to go here. And the ball is controlled by the Bears. Frazier will get over Alley Stone, and we'll start the action here, Coach. Yeah, a little, little half court zone defense. They do a lot of this 1-3-1 one, one, one action right now, and they, they have some unique rotations that is really hard to play against. But making shots and getting to the glass are two rim recipes for success. And Engler will follow it up there. You know, at first possession, Charlie, two offense rebound for the Bears. I, you know, I like the effort coming out early. So this is Lee with a basketball up top here for the Tigers. Being guarded by Stone, man-to-man -man defense from the Bears. Gets to the Wilkes on the cut, corrals the basketball. He'll swing around the horn. He got 14 on the shot clock. You can kind of see there's going to be a heavy emphasis on trying to get Wilkes the basketball down low and uh, a little bit of a size advantage, but the girls are doing a great job of, of managing that. Shots up, rattles around. Robbins come away with her second rebound of the ball against over, over the ball game. Excuse me, gets over to Alley Stone. Picks up the dribble, gets back to Mary Engler. Now they'll start the offense with 20 on the shot clock. Gets to Robbins from the baseline. Shots up, Boom. shots good. Get by some confidence for Sheridan Robbins in her first start of the season. Great job to see her come in here and be very confident. She had a great defensive possession and then uh, gets rewarded with the uh, the long two. Oh, work the basket around top. Lee's got it there now. Hand over to Pritchett. 
And she'll swing it over to Boyle. It looks for Wilkes on the inside, gets to the bucket. She finishes at the rim. Bears lead this one four to two. Yeah, you'll you'll see a lot of that. And after made baskets, you'll see their little two two one pressure coming. And uh, these this is where we got to value the basketball. And a lot of times, you know, you got to make that decision: do you attack or do you set back up? I always liked our teams to try to attack that. You probably don't get any better shots all game than in transition. Stone three-point shots up. Rattles around, comes out. Lee will come away with the defensive rebound for the Tigers, and she is going to push. Picks up a dribble and passes over. Shots up by Pritchett. Shots up. Shot rattles around, goes off off the backboard, and that is Fielder will come away with the defensive rebound. The ball being knocked out of bounds, and Bears will retain possession. And so far, Charlie, they're doing a good job on the backboard. Yeah, they're they playing strong. I like, the, I like the attitude they come out with. Uh, just another game. Let's keep playing like we've been playing. Yeah, and the rule on that last play, it has to hit something if it goes on the top, meaning the shot clock will go over the back, and that's why that, that was not blown dead until it went out of bounds. Feltner has the basketball. Top gets over to Robin, so the swing over to Frazier. Back to Feltner. Got 15 on the shot clock. Engler at the free throw line. Robin's on the baseline. Nice pass over to Feltner. She picks it. Frazier will pick it up. Baseline jumper is up. Baseline jumper is good. Bears lead this one 6-2. to two. Lee will have the basketball. She's going to push for Campbellsville. Stone will pick her up. Boyle has it now. Being guarded by Engler. We're telling Wilkes. Right-handed shots up. Right-handed, right-handed shots good. She's got four. Bears leading this one 6-4. to four. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to figure out a solution on her because that's going to be something we'll have to see for the next 40 minutes. Robbins over to Frazier. Picks up her dribble. Swings it back over to Engler. Who's Stone has got the basketball on the wing. Now Feltner has it. Gets all the way to the bucket, finds Frazier in the corner, picks up her dribble. Now Feltner has it with 10 on the shot clock. England shots up, rattles around, comes off. A lot of contact, no call. Pritchard's got it now for the Tigers. He's going to push. He's all the way to the free throw line, hands it back over to Lee. Now they're going to run the offense with 20 on the shot clock. Lee spin, picks up. Feltner comes away with the steal, but she'll get all the way to the bucket, tries to finish with right hand, and she is unable to do so. Offensive rebound. Stone has the basketball. Lee tries to draw the charge, unable to do so. Stone scores 8-4 Bears. Good job of the uh, of the ladies being gritty and continuing, even though Feltner missed the layup. She hustled back, got the offensive rebound, and uh, ended up getting us two points out of that exchange. Wilkes ha- touches the basketball once again on the box, gets it back over to Lee. Boyle has it on the corner, working to Lee's man. Wilkes once again, excuse me. Yeah, the heavy concentration on trying to work the ball around and trying to get Wilkes some isolations on the post. And, uh, that's not the worst scenario if you're the Bears there of trying to get them to shoot to settle for some jump shots. Pritch's first bucket of the evening is 8-6. Bears leading this one. Just a tick under six minutes to go here in the first period. I see the baseball team uh, getting their position on the court tonight as well, too, Coach. We're, we're getting everybody situated in their, in their right spots and, Again, can't brag enough on the, the great crowd that we've got here today for a single uh, single game here. They're very deserving of these ladies to be watched. Robbins may go away with a walk, no call. Buckets up again, give her four. Bears leading this one 10 to six. Lee's got the basketball, bring it down. Feltner knocks it away. And Pedigo will go back and pick it up. 20 on the shot clock. Looking for Wilkes once again on the post. Get it to the free throw line now. Richards got it. She picks up a dribble, though. Pedigo gets all the way to the bucket. Left-handed shots up. Left-handed shots good. Makes it a 10-8 ball game. Yeah, really really nice left-hand kiss off the glass there by Pedigo getting to the rim. Very experienced player. Knows, knows what to do with it when she gets it. Felton's got the basketball. Be an offensive foul called on Engler. Moving the screen be her first. The first team foul called against the Bears. Yeah, we, we, the- we can ill afford to get our get our, our starters in foul trouble. We with a little bit deeper uh, on the, or a little bit less deep on the bench. We've got to be careful of, of silly fouls, and that was one of them. Bertram will check in, replacing Boyle for the Tigers. 10 to 8 as we close in with five minutes to go to play in this first period of Mid South Conference basketball. Lee's got the basketball up top. Swing the basketball out of bounds, and the Bears will take over. Unforced turnover for the Tigers, Coach. We'll, we'll, we'll take those, and again, this is about turnovers in this game, and uh, certainly glad to see that the, the, the Lady Tigers are the ones having those turnovers and not the Bears. Sutton will check in for the Tigers. With five minutes going in the first period, the Bears leading this one 10-8. You're watching Bears basketball on the U-Pike Sports Network, presented by Appalachian Wireless.
Welcome back to the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Run five, under five minutes to play in the first period. Bears lead this one 10 to eight. Haley Free checked in at that uh, that timeout for the Bears. She will replace Allie Stone. Sutton also checked in for the Tigers. England's got the basketball working against Pritchard. He gets all the way down to the bucket. 15 on the shot clock. Left handed shots up. Left handed shots good. Give her four. Bears up by four. A little change of defense there by the, the, the Lady Tigers. Went a little man to man and got an isolation in the post. Mary Engler with a great left hand scoop move. Pettigo's pass is kicked by Feltner. There'll be 25 on the shot clock. They'll inbound the basketball from the side. The Sutton checked in. She replaced Lee. Pettigo looking to inbound the basketball. She does. Over to Sutton. Back over to Pettigo. Working on the side. 15 on the shot clock. Very patient. Pritchard's got it. Wilkes is going to roll to the bucket. Shots up. Shot. Rattles around. Comes out. Battle for the rebound. Bailey Frazier with the defensive rebound. It's going to, it's going to take a team effort. Our guards, we talk about all the time, are willing rebounders. They're really going to have to prove that tonight. Frazier, nice spin move. Shots up. Rattles around. Comes out, though. Sutton will come away with the rebound for the Tigers. Pedigo is going to push. Again, Wilkes hits all the way to the bucket. Sutton's got it. Back over to Pedigo. Robbins doing a nice job on Wilkes to deny the pass on the box. Yeah, she worked around her for sure and didn't let her have that direct pass. And they're going to continue to try to force it in there to her. We've got to continue to do a good job defending. Pritchard shot from the free throw lines up and good. Give her four. Bears up 12 to 10. Free ring the basketball down for the Bears. And Tigers staying in this, this man to man half court defense right now. Free will get all the way to the bucket, tries to finish right hand, unable to do so. And that is Pettigo come over the defensive rebound for the Tigers, and she is going to push. Gets it over to Wilkes, swings over to Pritchard. She gets all the way to the bucket, tries to finish with the right hand, unable to do so. Wilkes crashes in with the offensive rebound, and she finishes, gives her six for tied to 12. Yeah, she, she just kind of whipped us on that play right there, went and got it and stuck it right back in. You better find a, a way to put a body on her, or she'll get a lot of those tonight. Hannah Roberts checking for the Bears' next dead ball. Feldner has the basketball, gets all the way to the bucket. Gives it to Frazier. Back over to Robin. Her three-point shot's up. Rattles around, comes out. Sierra Feldman, offense rebound. Oh, yeah. She finishes, gives her two. Bears up by two. Great job by Sierra getting that backside glass and picking up an extra possession and extra two points for us. Pettigo has the basketball at the top. Closing on 20 on the shot clock. You can tell Pettigo does a really good job of leading her team. She's, she's definitely in command and knows what to do. Wilkes, nice Feldman will kick it for the second time this evening. They'll inbound the basketball from the baseline. Roberts will check in. Replacing Sheridan Robbins, who did a nice job in the first start so far tonight, Coach. Very complimentary. I yeah, thought she I'm, did some great things. I thought, I thought she did. I thought defensively she was right there on her all night. That's good. Luby will check in for the Tigers. And then Colopy will check in replacing Mary Engler as well. So 20 on the shot clock. Lots of new faces out on the court for both teams from the starting lineup. Pritchard has the basketball, gets to the free throw line, picks up a dribble though, closes on 15 on the shot clock. Pedigo looking on the post, won't do anything with it. Shots up, shot rattles, run comes out. Sierra Feltner with the defensive rebound, and she's going to push for the Bears. She has Frazier on the right, she picks up her dribble, swings over to Colby. Roberts fresh off the bench, shots up, rattles, run comes off. Defensive rebound comes down to Pritchard for the Tigers. They're going to push, gets all the way to the bucket. She tries to finish, there's going to be a foul caught on the Bears. Will be shooting free throws. Who are they calling it on? He's going to be on free. It'll be her first team second. She paid the price for that one. I think everybody on that that end of the court fell on top of Haley yes. on that that drive to the basket. And uh, don't want to give me free layups at the rim. And we didn't do that right there. So going to end up making uh, Loby uh, number 23 here. Loby earn them from the line. First shots up. First shots good. Makes it 14-13. Loby on the season. 54-75, she'll 72% before that free throw. We'll go up one more tick, and she'll have one more shot. A little bit of an odd release on that. and A little bit of a uh, hitch there, right? Yes, yeah, she did. Had a good, good finish on the first one, and we were fortunate on the second. But back into the man-to-man -man defense here for the Lady so Tigers. With a missed second free throw, Barry's coming with a defense rebound. Up by one, free over to Frazier, looking for Roberts on the inside. We're against Loby. Picks up a dribble, Feltner in the corner. Ten on the shot clock, shots up, shot rattles, run comes off. And the Loby will come away with the defensive rebound for the Tigers. Pedigo will push for the Tigers. Being picked up by Sierra Felder. Nice matchup there. A little feed Loby. She brings the basketball down. Colby fresh off the bench will get the defense, get the steal. She hits the floor. Free picks up the dribble. She finds Robert. She finds Colby. Shots up. Shots good. 
Fresh off the diving on the floor, coach a three-point bucket, bears it by four. Great hustle play, and uh, she did a nose dive there at half court, but found a way to get back up and get that three in the basket. Great job by Katie Colopy. Pedigo gets all the way to bucket, Great find a nice pass over to wow. Lobie. She scores her first bucket of the, I'm sorry, first, but she gives her three, bears it by two. Everybody loves to play with a pass first point guard, and certainly that was yeah. the case there. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful dish and finish. Did a great job They're drawing the defense toward her. Ball got knocked away, be over and back violation there. I don't know if Lee had touched the basketball or not, but Free tried to tip you toe the half court line, but she stepped over. Preacher will return to the lineup, replacing Sutton. And with 59.8 seconds to go in this first period, 17 15, Bears leading this one. Engler will return to the lineup, replacing Bailey Frazier. Again, I'm impressed by Clifton Williams' rotation coach keeping players fresh. Yeah, you have to in this. You know, he's got a shorter bench tonight than normal, and uh, he's going to keep do everything he can to keep them fresh. And uh, he, he continues to do that that good work from the sideline. Lee has the basketball. It's going to be an offensive foul call on the Tigers. I think it's going to be called a hook. It's going to be on Pedigo. That will be know, her first, team first. And you're playing a team that's got as deep a bench as you do, so you better match them. Absolutely, or they'll wear you down. Yep. It's really uncharacteristic. I haven't watched Campbellsville play a ton this year, obviously, but uh, being in half court man-to-man only is not what what normally Coach Colvin does with her teams. So nope. Maddie Nolly just checked in for placing Pedigo. 20 on the shot clock, free pass the basketball. Finds Robinson's corner, picks up her dribble, tries to get the bucket. Lee tries to draw the offensive foul, and she does. And that will be on Roberts, be her first team's third. Bear, I mean, the Tigers will have possession. I, I like Roberts' aggression so far. Uh, but, again, it, it hadn't led to great success yet. So, hopefully she'll break out of that. She had a charge there and a, a rush shot when she first got out there. But we need her to play well to be successful tonight. Yeah, I think you're right. Bears leading this one 17-15. Quick leader for the Bears so far in this first period. Sierra Feltner's got four rebounds through one period. As we're closing on 20 seconds of play here. They're about a four-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Now we're down to 10 on the shot clock. Gets over to Pritchard. She has, picks up her dribble. No, she put down the dribble. Excuse me. Shot oh, blocked get by that out of here. Feltner and it'll be out of bounds and only one shot second on the shot clock. Let's see if Tigers realize how much time Coach Collins is screaming and they've only got one second. Yeah, the, the, you're still able to catch and shoot right now with a full second, but you can't do anything but catch and shoot. Six and a half on the game clock. Bears up this. Up. 17-15, Lee will inbound the basketball for the Tigers, looking to the bucket, and that's going to be too much to be a shot cock violation, and that'll be the fourth turnover charge to the Tigers. I'm, I'm not sure that you don't have to go back and look at this. I think they let the clock run a little bit longer. It was 6.5, and there's one second on the clock. I'm no mathematician, but it should say 5.5 up there if there's one second on the clock. Allie Stone will check back in the ball game for the Bears, replacing Sierra Feltner. Boyle will return to the lineup for the Tigers. As well, four and a half seconds play. Engler, we inbound the basketball for the Bears from the side. She looks a long pass over the Colopy. She catches, shots up, shot rattles around, comes out. And the, the Pritchard will come away with the defense rebound for the Tigers. However, after one period of uh, play, excuse me, Bears lean this one 17 15. You're watching Bears basketball on the U Pike Sports Network presented by Appalachian Wireless. Welcome back to the Appalachian Wireless Arena. As you can see, some of the fans, as Coach Wells talked about, the Grundy Golden Wave here in attendance, supporting the Bears tonight, Coach. Not a very unique name, the Golden Wave, uh, home of uh, men's basketball, Coach Ty Compton. I'm sure he's proud of having him there, and he's a little busy tonight. He he's is uh, occupied. His wife is expecting, and they're 
in the hospital waiting to waiting to welcome a new baby to the world. Lee's spin move and the, the paint she scores a bucket to give her two. We're tied to 17. Free has the basketball. Free Englert, Robbins, Colopy, and Stone on four for the Bears. Sheridan Robbins has another bucket. Give her six, 19, 17 Bears. Very aggressive play by Sheridan Robbins coming out of the gate and uh, much needed tonight. Pritchard has on the basketball on the side, looks for a cutter. They swing the basketball around. Pritchard looks on the looking for Lobie on the inside. She gets to the baseline, picks up a dribble, 15 on the shot clock, though. Yeah, the post players are doing a good job of working their way around and denying that pass into the post. 10 on the clock. Pritchard's got it. Gets it to Loby. She gets she gets position, and there's going to be a three-second violation wow. caught on the Tigers. That'll be the fifth turnover charge. The Campbellsville Bears will get possession. The, the one time we didn't work around, we got a three-second yep, call. I wasn't yep. sure that was still in the rule book, Charlie. <laughs> I haven't seen it called in a long time. Usually you got a campfire in there when you see that nowadays. you, you got to have about a 10-second in there before you get that three-second call. But glad to see that that's still in the rule book. Wilkes will check back in for the Tigers, replacing Lobie, and the Bears will bring the ball down the floor. The floor, excuse me, leading this one by two. Stone has the basketball, gets to the baseline, a little hesitation dribble. Now she'll swing it back out. Robbins. She's going to call for the walk. I thought she may have got away with one earlier to get called that time. And Coach Williams looked at her and said, hey, it's okay. Just calm down. We're all right. Very, very excited and, and really working hard out there. Just got her feet going a little bit faster than the ball was moving. Lee has a basketball on the side, looking for Wilkes on the post. Now they've got a matchup with Allie Stone on the inside mismatch. Campbell will get to the baseline. Pritchard, three-point shots up, three-point shots. Good, that's their first lead of the ball game, leading this one 20 to 19. Yeah, Pr Pritchett is going to be the uh, the missing link, so to speak, in the game. She does a whole lot of things for this uh, Lady Tiger basketball team, and that's she, we call them stat sheet stuffers. There's nothing she doesn't do well from defending to rebounding to scoring to three. Uh, she's the kind of the missing link for Coach Colvin and the Lady Tigers. Engler, nice Beautiful. backdoor cut to Haley Free. Robbins three is up, rattles around, doesn't find anything. Collipe, nice hustle play, unable to rattle it though. The Tigers basketball. I thought she, you know, he was going to go out on her anyway, but I thought she got it in on that one. Yeah, that uh, tough possession right there. We did a good job of getting the back door and didn't get the layup out of it, and then we had to take a long, long three. But not a bad possession, just didn't get the rewards. Lee has the basketball, looking around. They swing the basketball. That is Nally's got it. Swings it back over to Boyle. Been guarded by Stone. Wilkes deep post. Right hand the shot, no good. Robbins with the defense rebound. Knocked away. Lee has the basketball. Hesitation. Looking for help. Pritchard, three point shots up. Three point shots good. 23 19. Give her, I think, 10 so far. Yeah, she's the first player in double figures. The largest lead of the night for the Tigers by four, coach. Very, very solid player. And uh, and she just does a whole lot, and you certainly don't want to be the one you leave, leave open on the perimeter if, at any case. Colopy gets all the way to the bucket, tries to finish, unable to do so. Pritchett comes away with a defensive rebound. Bailey Frazier checking for the Bears, next dead ball. Boyle has it, been guarded by Robbins on the side. 20 on the shot clock, looking for Wilkes on the post. Nally swings the basketball all the way around. Pritchett, she goes back over to Boyle. Nice ball moving from the Tigers. 15 on the shot clock, Pritchett. Hesitation dribble, gets to the free throw line. Nally's baseline jumpers up. Rattles run comes out. Haley Colopy will come with the, the defensive rebound. Big time stop there, Coach. Yeah, that, that was a tough possession because the, the Lady Tiger did a great job of swinging that basketball. Everyone on the team touched it that, that time down on the floor. Englert has the basketball for the Bears. Swings over the stone, 15 on the clock. She gets out with the bucket, tries to finish. She's unable to do so. Nally come away with the defensive rebound. Start seeing some Lady Bears out there kind of Huffing and puffing a little bit. The pace of play, Lee scores it at the bucket, give her four, and makes it a six-point lead for the Tigers. Coach Clifton Williams says, give me a timeout. I, I like that timeout. I, I felt like the momentum had shifted a little bit to the Lady Tigers and saw some uh, some Bears dragging their dragging their tails a little bit there. I yeah. say, let's keep it right here and go over some statistics real quick for you. Bears are trailing this one 25 to 19. Campbellsville got 25 points, 11 to 19 from four, 58 percent, two of seven from deep. Pritchard hit both of those for the Tigers. They're one of two from the uh, from the free throw line. Pritchard leading the way for uh, the Tigers with 10 points. The Bears are nine of 22, 41 percent from the floor, one of eight from deep. They haven't attempted a free throw yet. They're led in scoring by Robbins, six points, and Englert has four as well for the Bears. This second period to play, Coach, Tigers come out red hot. They're four or six from the floor in the second period with 10 points, including both triples they made on the night. The Bears only one of four 
second period. So it's a 10 2 run to start this second period for the yeah. Tigers. And that's the difference in the game completely. You know, the, the opportunity to shoot 67% in this quarter, uh, we won't win this game if we continue to let them do that. And then on our side, shooting 25%, that's not a good ratio for you right there. So we've got to one, step our defense up, and then convert some of these. We haven't taken bad shots, we haven't gotten bad looks, we just have to capitalize. Uh, and get the ball to go through the basket. So the starters are back on the floor for the Bears as uh, you had Feltner and Frazier check back for the Bears. So again, it'll be Stone, Englert, Frazier, Robbins, and Feltner for the Bears. Somebody needs to tell Stone she's only 5'6", because she's been playing pretty tough in the paint here the last couple of times. She's got mismatch. No, no question mm -hmm. about it. And she, she'll, she'll lay her. She's competitive. She'll lay her yep. body out there, whatever she's got to do. Feldman picks up a dribble over to Englert. Got 15 on the clock. Gets all the way to the free throw line. They won't stop her. Tries to pitch right hand. She does. Mary Englert has six bears within four. It, this is a really good matchup between Mary Englert and Pritchett. They, they both do a lot of the same things for their team. Very valuable. Uh, leadership as well as play. It's a, that's a nice matchup. Lee has a basketball on the wing, guarded by Felton. Pritchard has it, three-point shots up, three-point shot. Good give her 13 as her third triple of the night. Tigers up by seven. Yeah, she was hunting that shot right there. You could tell offensively she was she was feeling She's it. She's feeling it, yeah. Got to get a hand in her face. Robin swings over to Stone. Felton has the basketball. She tries to get the buck, tries to spin the right hand, and she does. Sierra Feltner has four bears within five. Yeah, she's about a 45% three-point shooter. We better find Pritchett and not let her have those looks. Well, she's hit three triples here in the second period. Pedigo has the basketball. Now Frazier will tighten that defense a little bit more on Pritchett. Boyle has it on the wing, gives it over to Pedigo. Wilkes posting hard on the inside. She does a nice move, tries to finish, unable to do so. Pedigo with the offensive rebound. They've got a little bit of contact on the shot. I think it's might be on Feltner. Yeah, I'm not. Nope, it's going to be on Frazier from behind. It'll be her first, team's first, and Beatrim will check back into Bertram. Excuse me, will check back in the ball game. Place of Boyle. Pedigo will go to line shooting too. This will be her first trip. Let's see if I can get her season statistics for you folks. She makes the first. Pedigo on the season, 77 percent. She made the first one. I was going to guess in that 80% range. Yeah, you just tell her her form and her confidence stepping up there. She's, she's used to making these. She has four. The Tigers are up by seven, closing on five minutes to play here in the second period. Here they're going to switch back to a little their 1-3-1 one, their, their one, one that they're so known for here. Robbins has the basketball. Stone over to Feltner. Ball gets away from Feltner, knocked away. Nice job. From the Tigers, over to Englert. Now he got 10 on the shot clock. She's looking to create. A nice back tap there from Bertram. Bertram, who just checked in the ball game. Yeah, she had three deflections on that one series right there. She was very active defensively. Pritchard has the basketball over to Lee, looking at Wilkes, a tough post on the inside. Pass too long. That'll be the sixth turnover charge of the Tigers, and Hannah Roberts will check in for the Bears. Yeah, right. the right idea right there, just put a little bit too much oomph on that pass. and. Uh, sailed it out of bounds, but certainly the right look. I could see what she was trying to accomplish there. Roberts will check in replacing Robbins and give the Bears a little bit more size on the inside to con contest Wilkes a little bit more. Back, the, back to their zone half-court defense. Stone has the basketball at the top, under 20 on the shot clock. Feeds Engler at the free throw line, has Stone, goes a different direction, picks up a dribble. Roberts three-point shot from the wing. He's oh. good. Anna Roberts got three and bears within four. Yeah, Hannah, Hannah wastes no time when she gets in the game if she's open for that three-point shot. And uh, great great to see that ball go through the hoop for her. Over to Pettigo, back over to Pritchett. Wilkes now working against Roberts on the inside. Pettigo has the basketball, closing on 15 on the shot clock. Gets all the way to the bucket, tries to finish, unable to lose to a hunt. Hannah Roberts with a defense rebound. Now Mary Englert will push for the Bears. Spin dribble, gets all the way to the free throw line. Fiends Frazier in the corner, shots up. Shot rattles around, comes out. Wilkes with the defense rebound for the Tigers. Good good possession, good pass, good shot right there. That's really where you want to attack that 1-3-1 one, one or in the corners. And I had an open three, just didn't get it to go down. Pritchard shot rattles around, comes out. Wilkes, offensive rebound. Mary Englert will be called for the contact. It'll be her second yeah. and team second. And really, really not much of a foul right there, but certainly was not in the right position to get that rebound, and they're going to call that most of the time. Sutton would return to the lineup, replacing Pedigo for the Tigers. Wilkes go to the line to the shooting. She's 58% on the season. This is her first trip on the night. She makes the first. She's up to seven. Bears trailing by five. 
Wilkes averages 15 points per ball game. Team's leading scorer. Yeah, very impressive post player. Does a really, really good job with her positioning. She makes both of those. Give her eight. Bears trailing this one by six. Three minutes and 30 seconds to play until halftime. Feltner has the basketball over to Hannah Roberts. Swings Bailey Frazier. Back to Feltner. He has the basketball up top. Right at the Bears' ear. They're doing a very, very good job of keeping the defense off, off bounce a little bit with their passing and cutting. Roberts three-point shot rattles around, comes out. Lauren Lee with the defense rebound for the Tigers, and she's going to push. Got to stop the basketball. Feeds Wilkes. He tries to finish at the rim. She does. Give her ten. Bear down by eight. Yeah, the, the, the problem with shooting those the, the long threes early in your offense is that if you miss them, it gives transition opportunities going the other way. And if there's anybody in our league we can't give transition opportunities to is them. Stone's three-point shot. That rattle around comes out. Roberts offense rebound. Unable to finish, though. Wilkes comes away with the defensive board. That time for the Tigers. Lee will now push. The Tigers have dominated this second period so far. Wilkes has the basketball. Pritchett pump fake. Free throw line jumper. No nice pass to Wilkes. She finished that rim. Gets her 12. Bears down by 10. What a what a play by Pritchett right there. I'm not sure what. I, I think some a point at a knee. I don't know if it is a blood. I heard, or, I heard word blood, so yeah. Yeah. We got it all yeah on her knee. Bertram's got a. Got a floor burn on her on her knee that popped open, it looks like. Nally will return to the lineup along with Loby. And Loby will replace Wilkes, and then Nally will replace Bertram. So two minutes and 33 seconds until halftime. Bears tell this one by 10. The Tigers outscoring the Bears here in the second period, 21-9. Yeah, this has definitely been dominated by the Lady Tigers here. We need to have a good offensive possession this last 2.30, we need to kind of squeeze this gap back down a little bit more reasonable. Feltner pass over to Frazier, tries to finish at the rim. She does. Bailey Frazier's got four, bears within eight. That was an extremely tough shot going to her offhand, which she uses as much as she uses her, her strong hand, but a, a great finish, much needed basket there by Bailey Frazier. Lee swings back over the Nally, looking at Loby on the inside. Roberts will contest. She tries to finish left hand, and it will do so. Englert with a defensive rebound, and a foul will be caught. I think it's going to be on Nally. No, yeah, it is going to be on Nally. It'll be her first, team's first in the second period. Good battle right there by Mary Englert. Actually battled with two players right there to secure that rebound and uh, even survived the takedown yep. to, to get that rebound. I think a little, little difference here. They've got huge length at the top of their 1-3-1 one, one right now to kind of prevent you from having ball reversals, but should give us an advantage on the baseline if we can get it down there. 15 on the shot clock. Englert step under, shots up, shots good. Give Englert eight, the Bears within six. That's a, that's a good basket to see go down and get her confidence. If we can get her in the high post, she's going to have some opportunities there to really do some, some positive things. Lee over to Pritchett, guard, guard by, excuse me, being guarded by Bailey Frazier. Lee now has it. Nally over to Loby. Now, that's, excuse me, Sutton, that's Pritchett's got it now. Very patient. Shots up. Rattles around, comes out. Sto Allie Stone with the defensive rebound. That, that seemed a little rushed on what they've been doing. We'll, we'll take that, that shot in this last minute here. Hopefully we can execute and continue to close this gap. We've got it down from 10 to 6. Pettigo will return for the Tigers' next dead ball. A minute to play until halftime. Frazier has the basketball. Feeds Englert. Pass over to Feltner. She tries to finish. Shot's blocked at the rim. Frazier swings a stone. She pump fake. Just over there and tries to finish. A little bit of contact. No no call, as it'll be a shot clock violation. Turnover, ball to the Tigers. Yeah, would have loved to have seen her pull that first one instead of playing it on the, on the deck, but she hadn't made her threes yet tonight and maybe just not feeling it there. But I'm sure she, she would have the green light, I would imagine, on those shots any time uh, anytime that I was coaching her. She yeah, would. exactly. Bertram will return to the lineup for the, for the Tigers. Look, glad to see she's okay. Wilkes will return to the lineup as well, replacing Lobie. And Nally. Yeah, a little shout out for the uh, Tigers athletic trainer, Derek Port, one of the best in the business. Got her got her cleaned up and out there on the floor and didn't miss but two possessions. Pettigo being guarded by Stone on the side, 15 on the clock. Wilkes working hard on the, on the box. Nice job of Hannah Roberts with a swing over a little bit of help. Lee at the free throw line. Pritchard had, picks up her dribble, though. Back over to Lee, five on the clock. Gets over to the bucket. Good, good job by Hannah Roberts. Yeah, and I tell you what, Hannah Roberts anticipated that one coming to her. That's two really good defensive plays. She was the reason they couldn't get, a, get it on the baseline drive. She stood her ground and made him reverse it and then did a great job of, of collecting the charge right there off the elbow. Bertram's first, team's second. So the Bears will have the last, sec, last 
shot here in the first half, trailing this one 36 to 30. Feltner crossover dribble on the league. It's always the Buck Trout spins right hand. She does. Sierra Feltner's got six. Bears within four. Got to close it out here, Coach. One second to go. Shots up. The shot's going to be short. And we'll go to the halftime. Bears trailing this one four. Before we go to the halftime, though, Charlie, I think this game is living up to the billings. Oh, 36-32 lead for the Tigers at half. Absolutely. You know, they, they dominated the first part of that second quarter, but the Bears came back here to the end. You're going to go in down, only down four. I think they, the way they let Campbellsville play early, that's a pretty good job. Yeah, they did a great job of closing that 10-point gap with two minutes and 30 seconds down to a four-point four swing. So uh, things are just going to improve. We've got Coach Hanna Case coming in, and we'll get rid of me and Charlie here for a minute. i tell you what. Here, let's hit the back station for a quick break. We'll come back. We'll have the dance coach, Hanna Case. Go to Bears Basketball on the U-Pike Sports Network, presented by Appalachian Wireless. Bears trailing by four, Coach. First possession here in the second half. Yeah, it's rare not to see one free throw attempted by your home team in a game, but it has been a clean, clean game so far. Feltner has the basketball. The starters out there for the Bears. Swing over to the Frazier. Robbins in the corner had a good first half for the Bears in their first start this season. Swing over to the Stone in the corner, 15 on the clock. Works to Engler in the free throw line. Her shot's up. Rattles around, comes out. Wilkes comes away with the defensive rebound. Gets over to Lee, who's going to push for the Tiger. Gets all the way to the bucket. Tries to finish right hand, and they will do so. Seattle Fetner, who got pushed, but they're going to say no call. Maybe that was her teammate who pushed her. Yeah, I think she had a little help, help from her friends. <laughs> so the Tigers will regain possession. They'll have the basketball on the baseline, leading this one 36-32. However, the shot clock, they're going to reset it to 30 because of possession with the Bears. Lee will have the basketball from the baseline, and she'll trigger it inbound. And that's Pritchard shots up. Rouse run comes out. Offense rebound from Wilkes. That's her second here in the second half. Pedigo gets out with the bucket. Robbins, a nice job defensively. Pritchard's three-point shots up. Rouse run comes out. Robbins comes away with the defensive rebound. And she swings it over to the Felder. Now the Bears are going to push. They got numbers they want, and Stone's got it. She gets all the way to the bucket, tries to finish right hand. She does. Allie Stone's got four. Bears within two. Good to see that go down and get her off to a good start here. We'll definitely need production out of her in this third quarter. Pedigo up top, gets back over to Lee. 36-34. It's Bears, his game's lit up to the billing. Number three versus number 21. Bears out in their man-to-man -man defense here. Over to Pedigo on the wing. Swings into Wilkes. Guarded by Robbins on the inside. Oh, what She's, a move. She spins with the left hand. Give her 14. They're, they're by four. What a what a great dribble drop. Took that one dribble to the middle, got the defense to adjust, and dropped it leg whipped right to the baseline. What a what a great move there in the post. Feltner has the basketball, and she's going to be called for steps. That'll be the seventh turnover charge to the Bears. Kind of a, a bad time to have a turnover, Coach. Well, we talked about it. This this is a game of, of turnovers. We have got to do a better job of making sure that we do not uh, we do not turn that basketball over, and that's seven on the game for us already. Lee will bring the basketball across half court for the Tigers. Being picked up by Allie Stone. They get down to Pritchard. Um, Frazier really tightened the defense up here now on her. She drives, gets to the bucket, may got away with the push off, no call. She up and under, no good. Pedigo with the offensive rebound. She'll bring it back out. Good work on the boards here by the Lady Tigers. Pritchard has the basketball, gets to the free throw line, picks her dribble up. Boyle shots up, shots good. Gives her her first bucket of the evening. 41-34, Tiger. Yeah, Sister Pritchett right there. She's just as a stat sheet stuffer. She does a lot of great things uh, for this Lady Tiger basketball team. Feltner has the basketball at the top, being got by Boyle. Swings to Engler, puts down a couple dribbles. Back tap from Pedigo, diving on the floor, unable to save it. The Bears will have the basketball. They'll embed it from the baseline with 13 on the clock. Yeah, I love how we're playing through the middle of the uh, the defense right there. We're getting Englert right in that high post and let her kind of be a point guard in that area to, to find and distribute. Uh, worked a couple possessions. That time we got a little bit out of the middle and didn't quite get, get what we wanted. And Englert's three-point shot's up. It's good. Give her 11. Bears within four. The, the old step back three, Charlie. What do yep. you think? I, I'll take it. You know, you need, you need something to get going. Quickly on the other end, Wilk scores to give her 16. 43-37, you cannot relax on this team. Yeah, we, we did too much time celebrating from that three-point shot and didn't get back and get matched up. Roberts will check back in for the ball game for the Bears, the next dead ball. Feldner has it, working against Lee. Finds Robin, who has the basketball, puts down a couple of dribbles. Frazier has it, now she's going to attack. A little bit of contact, no call. Pritchard will come away with it for the Tigers. Lee's got it, being guarded by Robbins. Gets all the way to the bucket, she finishes at the rim. Give her six, 45-37, Tigers up eight. 
there, there's a reason that they score so many points a game, and that's it. They get turnovers or bad shots and uh, convert those to baskets going to the rim. And a uh, great job there by the Lady Tigers in transition. Stone had the basketball, finds a Robbins who puts down a couple of dribbles. He's picked by Pritchett. Frazier has it, looks for England on the inside. She has it, puts down a couple of dribbles. Ball's knocked away, so he regathers. Five on the shot clock. Feldner's three point shots up. Rattles around, comes out. Frazier with the offensive rebound. Stone, three point shots up. Three point good. shots, good. Allie Stone's got seven, buried within five. Yeah, we, we need her to really be play big in this third and fourth quarter to have an opportunity to win this game. And you could tell Coach Colvin had a nice, friendly conversation at halftime. The, the effort from the Lady Tigers defensively is totally different oh, yeah. than it was in the first half. Pettigo has the basketball on the wing, 15 on the clock. Boyle attacks, back tip from Mary England. Turnover, Mary's going to push. She got Frazier to the left, Stone to the right. Gives it to the Stone, she tries to finish the three, but she does. Oh. Allie Stone's got nine, the Bears are within three. Good effort right there by the Bears. Good good creation of offense from good defense. I said, it's going to be a timeout. I think, be, I think make, we called that one. We're going to call this one. They're going to quit and run the media timeout. So let's sit until the break. For us back to the station, excuse me for a break. Six minutes to go here in the third period. The Bears trailing this one 45 42, but stay tuned, folks. This is a good one brewing. Watch the Bears basketball on the U Pike Sports Network, presented by Appalachian Wireless. Welcome back to the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Under six minutes played in the third period. Bears are, Bears are trail, climbing back in this. Excuse me. Trailing this one by three. Lee has the basketball at top being guarded by Stone. Same door Pedigo, 20 on the shot clock. Feeds Pritchard looking for Wilkes. Being guarded by Roberts on the inside. It's a good matchup in the inside. Both players have some good size on the inside. As Sutton's picked up the basketball. Pritchard looking for Wilkes. Nice move. Right hand uh, finishes at the rim. Get for 18. Roberts will be caught for a second, the first one on the team here in the third period. Yeah, I think she got cheated on that one. I think she got fouled first. I think it was a charge, but she bumped her out of the way. It, it kind of folded her up. You know, you talk about verticality. She yeah. started vertical, and then when they made contact, it folded her over yeah. and ended up making her make contact. And the veteran Wilkes took advantage of that and got a got a bucket and an and one. She makes it, gives her 19. Bears trailing this one by six, 48-42. Feltner bring the basketball down the floor. Put Bertram at the top of this zone defense. She's a worker. She's very active with her with her feet and her hands. Stone has the basketball. Swing the Frazier on the baseline. 13 on the shot clock. Stone has it up top. She puts down a couple of dribbles, and Bertram is going to be called for the bump. It'll be her second team's second here in third period. Yeah, she she probably can live with that one. That's that's just a hustle play, and she's going to work hard at the top of that, and unless she gets an opportunity here to. Oh. Nally's going to check in for Pedigo. Nally, a 6'2 junior from Assumption High School in Louisville. Stone will treat the basketball and bounds, go over to Feltner. Bertram will apply some sticky defense. The pass is going to be stolen by Wilkes. That will be the eighth turnover charge for the Bears on the evening. And Pritchett will bring the basketball down the floor. Wilkes has it up top. That's an extremely tough pass to make through a 1-3-1 zone from the top of the key to the post. That's really difficult. High level of difficulty in that pass. Pritchard has the basketball on the baseline, 14 on the shot clock. Yeah, it's going to be a no shot. It's going to be steps called. That'll be the ninth turnover charge for the Tigers on the evening. As you'll have Boyle return to the lineup. Media timeout. Let's keep it right here, go over some statistics since we just had a, a timeout. So with 4.47 to play here in the third period, Tigers leading this one 48 to 42. Here in this third period, the Tigers are winning this one 12 to 10. Tigers are five and nine here in the third period. The Bears four of seven. 
The Bears have hit two threes here in this third period as well, too. Before the evening, there the Tigers are 19 of 37 from the floor. Bears are 19 of 41. Bears still yet to shoot a free throw with the Tigers six of seven. So, Coach, what do you see as far as what do the Bears need to continue doing and what do they need to improve on to get bring out a victory? Well, it wouldn't hurt us to get the free throw line a little bit. We've yet to get there so far this game, and I think that is a, just a little bit of a, a telltale story that we've settled for a lot of just jump shots. So if we could start getting some things moving to the basket, I think that would help us in terms of scoring and uh, getting them in a little bit of a foul trouble situation. And then defensively, we just we have to be more aggressive. Like I, I've not seen our girls – fade away from any contact, but just that little bit of extra right now. If you want to win these kind of games, you've got to give the extra. It's not the uh, the normal effort that you have to give. You have to give the little 110, so to speak, yeah. and, and do just a little bit extra here and a little bit extra there to try to find a way to win. But, Charlie, you talked about the effort. It's been a really good effort so far. I, I feel like the defensive effort especially been a good effort. I think, like I say, offensively, they've got to push just a little bit harder. Felton has the basketball. Does Stone. Stone has it. Surveying the defense. Feltner has Frazier to her left. Picks up a back over the stone, 15 on the clock. Frazier from the corner, shots up, shots good. Bailey Frazier has seven, bears within three. M much needed three, we almost took out the, uh, the, the referee going down the sideline for the coaching staff there. Pritchard has the basketball, Frazier, nice sticky defense on her. He gets over back over the lead, looking at Wilkes. Nice battle in there between Roberts and Wilkes. 15 on the clock, Lee will reset the offense. Well, the Boyle has it. Offensive foul. I think it went Pritchard with the trip. The trip, yeah. 32. It's going to be her set first, team's second, as Loby will check back in for Wilkes. Yeah, I'm not so sure we didn't get a break right there. I think we actually tripped over our own player right there, but I'm not telling if you're not. I, they can't hear us anyway. <laughs> How many times does official listen to you in your coaching career, Coach? Very, very seldom, I felt like. <laughs> <laughs> Fellner gets all the way to the bucket. Engler has the basketball on the baseline. There's a foul there, a I Spin thought. move, no call. Stone has the basketball, gets to the free throw line, shots up, shots good. She has 11, bears within one. Allie Stone was starting to turn it on, Coach. Great work there. Gave up the, uh, the contested three to get in and get a better shot at the rim. And I guess I should have mentioned transition defense. We were having a hard time getting our transition D going. Uh, and Nally uh, contested England on the rebound. Mary comes away with it. The Bear, she dribbles the basketball down over the stone. Ball got tipped back over to Feltner. She has it. Frazier tries the other side this time. The rattle rim comes out. Roberts with the offensive rebound. It's going to be a battle. Possession here like for the Tigers, but you got to like the effort, Coach. I love it. I love the effort of Roberts going to the glass right there. I love the extra pass from Sierra Feltner to uh, – uh, to Bailey Frazier in the corner after she just made one. Really good plays. A little zone, a little press here. Coach. A little one, two, two, three quarter court. We, we've used this quite often and uh, it's been able to force some turnovers uh, in the past and I think we'll drop it back into a zone, I would imagine. Nope, looks like man to man. Well, Loby uh, have it on the box and she's going to be called for a bump. Maybe oh, on. we're going to call. I, I didn't see her hands go down. Yeah, I'm sorry on that one. That's, that's Robert's third, team second here in the third. Yeah, we, we need to preserve her a little bit. We'll need her down the stretch, I'm afraid. So Lee will clear the basketball inbounds for the Tigers over the Nile. Heard by England. Lee got it, gets all the way to the bucket, got stone in the air. Richard free, free throw line jumpers up and good. Give her 15, Tigers up by three. Yeah, there, I would pick a whole lot of people on their team to, to leave open, but she is not no. one in the, in the top three that I would pick. Stone has the basketball, finds Engler. Feltner's got it up top. Put down a couple of dribbles. Stone, Roberts back to Stone. Nice ball moving from the Bears. 15 on the clock. Frazier's got it. Put down a couple of dribbles. Patient on the offensive end. Roberts, Stone, three-point shots up. Three-point shots, good. She's got 14, folks. Allie Stone starting to heat up. Yeah, she's doing a great job of moving the basketball. Nobody forced a bad three right there. Uh, I am a little concerned we're not getting any paint touches on this. That may come back to haunt us a little bit, but love to see that ball going through the hoop for Allie Stone. Tied to 50, leads over to the Nally. Got 15 on the shot clock. Pritchard looking at Loby on the inside. Good Gets close out. The Boyle, she has it. Loby trying to finish with the left hand. And they will do so. Nally with the offensive rebound. I think they're going to get Stone. Let's see on the push. It is on Alley. Be her first team's third. We got fortunate on the first time not getting a, a fourth foul there on Roberts on the reach in and didn't capitalize on the the advantage we got and gave yeah. up a second shot. Uh, you know, I thought we. I just didn't think we could 
aggressively enough for that rebound that time. Looked like everybody was looking at it. Yeah, we and we have that problem sometimes with Stanford plays. Is like everybody kind of watches her Wait, go so rebound, do, yeah. and now we we kind of did that without her in the game, and that's not good. It's not good playing. Forty-seven percent on the season. Now he'll make the first. Pedigo and Bertram return to lineup for the Tigers. Free return for the Bears. And Nally will make both of those and it'll give her two on the evening and then the Tigers will reclaim a two-point lead. I actually like this adjustment. They put Nally on the top of this with her length and uh, causes some problems. Stone penetrated, pass a little bit too low for Hannah Roberts. That'll be the ninth turnover charge for the Bears. 52-50. That knots them up. Well, 10, 10 turnovers for Campbellsville and nine turnovers for uh, Pikeville at this point. Pettigo will bring the basketball down the floor for the Tigers. Surveys the defense. Over to Nally, guarded by Engler. Bertram has the basketball. She gets over to Pritchett. 15 on the clock. Pritchett gets out with the bucket, tries to finish the left hand. She does give her 17. Tigers scored the last four to take a 54-50 lead. Yeah, really, really nice left-handed drive. Went to her offhand and uh, did a great job of getting to the rim and finishing. We need to we need to take a little bit of a lesson from that and try to see if we can get a couple of those like that. Three has the basketball, gets all the way to the three-point line, picks up a dribble, though. England has the basketball. Step back jumper, no good. A little bit of contact, no call. Pedigo is going to push for the Tigers. England tried for the back tap. Unable to get anything with it. Lobby will try to finish at the rim. Unable to do so. Battle for the rebound. Now he's oh, blocked by Frazier at the rim. Pritchard has the basketball. Back over to Pedigo. Now they're going to run the offense. Under a minute to play here in the third period. Bears trailing by four. Bertram looking for Lobie. Nally now look for Roby as well. Bertram gets all the way to the, uh, into the free throw line. Shots up, no good. Offensive rebound comes off to Bertram. Yeah, 24 to 18 on the rebounds in favor of the Lady Tigers right now. They're really taking advantage of getting these. This is their third extra possession right here on this, on this end of the court. Under 10 on the shot clock. Bertram's got the basketball up the top. Picks up her dribble though. Lobie's working against Englert. Pedigo gets to the rim, tries to finish left hand. She does give her six. The lead is six. Yeah, did a good job of getting to the basket. We didn't do a good job of understanding that she was a left-handed player and gave her that, that left-handed drive to the basket. Heads, heads up play by uh, by Pedigo on that play. The Bears will have the last shot in the third quarter. Frazier out of the corner, rattles around, coming out. Haley Frey with the offensive rebound, unable to get it to go. The ball stripped from her. Three on the game clock. Engler's got it. Finds Robert, shots up, comes out. So the Bears tied up at 50. Campbells goes on a 6-0 run. They close out the third quarter, so we'll go to the fourth. Campbellsville leading this one 56-50. Watching Bears basketball on the U-Pike Sports Network, presented by Appalachian Wireless. Welcome back to the Appalachian Wireless Arena. We go to the fourth period of play. Bears trailing this one 56 to 50. The Bears had tied it at 50, and then Campbell's will close up the third quarter on a 6-0 run. However, Coach, trailing by six, it's always good to have that first possession in the fourth quarter. Absolutely. That's the way we started the third quarter, too. Same scenario. We're down six with the basketball, so hopefully we can get this thing uh, tied, knotted up again and then get over the hump this time. Three over to Frazier. You got 20 on the shot clock. Back over to Free. Stone has the basketball. Finds Engler at the free throw line. Shots up, shots good. Mary Engler's got 13 bears by four. I, I love the, the structure we have offensively. It's working well. Uh, getting that ball centered in the middle collapses your defense, and it gives Mary a chance to operate there at the uh, uh, the high post, which she's very effective in. And the uh, the Bears are going to go with a little little zone by themselves here. Pritchett got the basketball. Swings it over to Bertram. Her shots up. Rattles around. Comes out nice. Box out from Allie Stone, comes over with the defensive rebound. Finds free, she has Robbins if she wants her. 
Three-point shots up, doesn't draw anything. Allie Stone will come away with the offensive rebound this time. Robbins steps in, shots up, shot rattles around, no good. Frazier battles for it. Another offensive rebound for the Bears. Englert, step back three, no good. Pedigo will come away with a defensive rebound. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure we took a, a lot of good shots on that possession. We need to take advantage of our hustle and, and our work here by getting good shots at the rim. And Englert had the basketball. She's going to be fouled from the back. Pedigo will be her second team's first. A lot of action there, Coach. And you got to like the effort on the backboard. Maybe we can. You can't, you can't fault the effort, yes. but you can fault the execution. Yes. Frazier to free on the baseline. Back over to Frazier. I like to find Stone here for a three-point shot. Yes, he went back-to-back -back rebounds, offense and defense. Robbins in the corner. Over to Free. The ball's knocked away. Robbins has it. Gets all the way to the bucket. Tries to finish at the rim. Unable to do so. And Wilkes will come away with the defensive rebound for the Tigers. Bertram's got the basketball top. Lee has it now. Swings it over to Pritchett. She fakes the shot. Gets all the way to the rim. Tries to finish at the rim. Oh, that's off her leg. And oh, that's a wrong call right there. England she carried made. it to get there anyway. Yeah, that was, that was absolutely off her leg. So 16 on the shot clock. The Tigers will inbound the basketball from the baseline. Lee will do, will trigger it for the Tigers as Katie Collins will return for the Bears' next dead ball. And Lee will get to the inside to Pettigo, get us in the Pettigo, excuse me, 15 on the clock now. They got Wilkes posting against Robbins on the inside. Lee has it. Crossover dribble, picks up that dribble now. Pritchard shots up, shot, rattles run, comes out. Wilkes with the offensive rebound. She goes up and may get off. It's on free. It's on Robbins. That'll be her first, team's first. And that's going to send Wilkes to the line for two. Wilkes on an evening three of three. They're letting Wilkes manhandle them in there. She's very physical. We, uh, you know, you know, to me, got... when, you, when you initiate the contact into the place person standing there, it's an offensive foul, Kelly. Yeah, you, she's very aggressive, and we have not we have not responded to it. And of course, I knew at the beginning of the game that was going to be something we had to body with. And, uh, you know, we're a little bit undersized, so now hopefully we, we, we can get that handled here with Katie coming in the game. Wilkes, three or four from the line. Now she has 19 points, eight rebounds. Give her 20, makes it 57-52. Feltner returned the lineup, replacing Haley Free. So starters on the floor, minus Robbins. Colopy's replaced her. I, I like this lineup for us right now. This is a good opportunity for us to make a, make a run here. 57-52, under eight minutes to play here in the fourth period. Feltner has the basketball, 20 on the clock, over to Engler. Puts down a couple of dribbles, get to the bucket, tries to finish. And they're going to get Wilkes for the bump. It'll be her first. Well, you got you got your Team makeup second. call, Charlie. Yeah, I got one. That'd be, then this will be the first free throw of the night for the Bears here in the fourth period. Seven minutes and 47 seconds of fourth period and the first free throw from the Bears tonight. England 70% on the season. Bears trailing by five. Mr. Getty's free throws. As we'll have Boyle return to the lineup for the Tigers, and she's going to replace Bertram. Bertram is a player who gives a lot of effort for the Tigers. Boy, she is. She's high energy and high effort. Engler will shoot two. Misses the first. It's off the front of the rim. Engler to play the team high 30 minutes tonight for the Bears. Yeah, could, could be a little bit of fatigue on that. Come up short on it. And Good she'll make, make the second, give her 14. Bears within four. Gives us a chance to come to this three-quarter court press here and see if we can't, can't create some kind of a turnover or mistake here from the Tigers, Lady Tigers. Pettigo will, will break the press for the Tigers over to Pritchett looking. Now Colopy will draw the assignment on Wilkes. The freshman doing a good job against the senior on the inside. Yeah, I, I like throwing two or three different bodies at her as we go in this quarter here. I think that's going to be productive for us. Wilkes has it on the inside. Pritchett's got the basketball. Shots up. Shot is good. Give her 20. That's her fourth made three of the night. Yeah, we, we have got to quit losing her uh, for open threes. It's really it's really uncalled for and just a little bit undisciplined. So it's going to be a timeout. So with 7-19 to go in this ball game, Tigers leading this one 60-53. to You watch the Bears basketball on the UPOC Sports Network presented by Palacio Wireless.
Welcome back to the Appalachian Wireless Arena. 7-19 to go in the fourth period. Tigers leading this one 60-53. Coach, key possession here for the Bears. It, it really is. You're, we've still got seven minutes to go a lot of time here, but you want to keep squeezing that margin as best you can. And you're playing against a very experienced team that uh, if they've got a lead down the stretch, you certainly don't want to have to try to combat that. So free will replace Engler. A lot of ball handlers on the floor right now for the Bears. Yeah, a little smaller lineup for us, but certainly more agile here. And, uh, we'll get a chance to get Mary Ingler a break and get her down the stretch where she's got her all of her juice. Free over to Feltner, who attacked the bucket. Coffee's got the basketball. Gets all the way to the basket, tries to finish. She does. Katie Coffee, they're going to say offensive foul. The wave off the bucket. Coffee's first, team second. The yeah, Tigers will throw the basketball inbound. I think the part you hate worst about all that, he, he took the old look up at the rim to see if it went in or not. That's that. If it's a charge, it's a charge. Yep. If it's not, it's not. Lee will have the basketball, bring it down for the, for the Tigers. Zone defense with the Bears, Coach? Yeah, a little zone action right here. We did that the last couple possessions. A little modified 1-3-1. Uh, helps us cover, not have to cover man-to-man -man as much for Wilkes and her size out there. And Lee shots up. Razzarin comes out. And Feltner comes away with her 7th rebound of the night. And she's going to push for the Bears. I'd like to find Allie Stone. She's made her last five shots. Over to Feltner. She attacks. Stone, three-point shots up. Razzarin comes out. Pedigo with a defense rebound for the Tigers. No, you, you, you don't mind that whatsoever, and certainly that's one of the one of the players you want to see taking those shots this time of the game. 20 on the shot clock. Pettigo gets over to Lee, guarded by Stone. Gets to Pritchett. They'll work with the, the two-person game with Wilkes. And Free's now going to try to body Wilkes on the inside. Double team coming, triple team coming. Back over to Pettigo, five on the clock. She has the basketball, gets all the way to the bucket, tries to finish the left hand, unable to do so. Wilkes with the offensive tip. Shots up from Wilkes, and they'll count the bucket. And they're going to have some discussion whether or not this is a – they're going to count the bucket. It's going to be on Feltner, her first, team second. Give Wilkes 22. Tigers up by nine. Wilkes go to line shooting one. She's four of five. Nally and Bertram will return to line for the Tigers, replacing Boyle. And Pedigo. Awful lot of uh, white jerseys hitting the floor there that time before they called that foul. Yeah, we, we were battling. I, I don't I can't complain about our effort right there. We're a little bit undersized and you'd hope we'd get a get a little bit of an opportunity rebound too. You know? Wilkes five of six of the night. She came in the game shooting fifty eight percent. She's five of six. She got team yeah, game well, high twenty three. We're kinda in that little critical moment right now with less than six minutes to go down ten points. Uh, with the ball, we've got to start making a little bit of a surge. Uh, on the way back here. Feltner has the basketball. Ball's knocked away. Birchman will come away with the turnover. That's the 11th charge for the Bears on the night. Lee's had the basketball. She attacks. She tries to she picks up a dribble. So I thought she was going to shoot the basketball. A really disciplined play there by the, by the Lady Tigers. Thought we got by with a, a little drag of the back foot, but official says, no, sir, he they did not. Frazier guarding Birchman on top, under 10 on the shot clock. Coffey doing a nice job. Feltner hits the floor. Ball out of bound to be... Bears basketball, Lee's asking for a call. But the official says nothing there. We'll be on the side. Yeah, getting kind of physical out there, Charlie. Well, yeah, that's what you kind of expect. You know, this is a senior-led team. They're going to, they know they can push you around, but they're going to try. Yeah, but, you, and you can't you can't let them do that. You got to back, you got to come right back at them and be as aggressive. Bears one of six on the floor here in the fourth period. Stone tough pass over the Frazier. Nice athletic move just to catch it. She tries to finish the left hand. Pritchard will come away with a block, and then Frazier's going to be called with a foul. It'll be her second, team's fourth. But that's key, too, because the Bears, one more foul. Kems will be shooting free throws the rest of the ball game. Yeah, it's a long way to go to put a good free throw shooting team in the bonus. Uh, Bears still only one and two from the floor in the free throw line. Tigers 10 of 12 so far. Bertram will have over to Nally. Swing back over to Bertram. Looking for Wilkes on the inside. Offensive foul. Then they're going to get Lee. That's right. Lee be her first team's third. Offensive foul on the screen. And then you have Loby will check back in. Probably replace Wilkes, I'm guessing. She will. Yeah, look, she's got a little a shoe malfunction. She's got to get her ankle brace and her, her shoe tied uh, back up. Wilkes, 23 points, nine rebounds, two assists, and two steals on the night. Big, big possession right here for the Bears. We need to have a, a good aggressive play and try to get ourselves to the free throw line or create some penetration and uh, create an open shot for a teammate. Feltner's got the basketball at the free throw line. Crossover dribble, finds Frazier. She's working against over the stone, 15 on the clock. Back over to Feltner, working against Nally. 
Gets out with the buckets. Kicks out the collar. Shots up. And it's going to be a 14. That is going to be on Nally with the push. It'll be her second team's fourth. R really good job of penetrating there and creating an opening. Felton has the basketball. Swing to the stone. Three-point shots up. Rattles down, comes out. Colopy with a strong offense rebound. She's unable to finish. The Bears battle for it. And Bertram will come away with a defensive board for the Bears. The Bears had opportunities in the fourth quarter, Coach, because they only made one shot so far. Yeah, that, that, was, make it. that was an awesome rebound. Yeah. I mean, everything you want out of that, and then just short-armed it a little bit on the putback. But how about the Bears defensively have only held the Tigers only two field goals so far in the fourth period? Pritchard shots up, no good. Defensive rebound comes off to Katie Colfer, who's going to push for the Bears. He gets over to the Feltner. Key possession as we're three minutes and 40 seconds going to this ballgame. Colfer, three-point shots up. Rattles around, comes out. Stone will hustle for the offense rebound, unable to corral it. The Tigers will take over possession. Okay, we're, we're, we're taking a lot of uh, lower lower percentage shots, I'll say, is that in this in this fourth quarter here trying to make a comeback. We've, we've got to get back to not panicking here and – uh, you got 3.30 to go. Let your defense do some work for you and try to get you an easy one out of this. The Bears shot nine shots in the fourth quarter, five three-point attempts of the nine so far in the fourth. Pritchard's got the basketball looking for Lobie on the roll. Gets over the Nally, 15 on the clock. Pritchard looking for Lobie once again, working against Colopy. She drives, gets to the bucket, tries to finish, unable to do so. Colopy's going to be the whistle, her second. And that's going to send Pritchett to the line to shoot two shots. It'll be her first trip of the evening. Crafty, crafty drive there late in the shot clock. And I thought Katie was in awesome position defensively. And then she swiped that left hand down. And uh, right in front of the official, they're going to call that every time. Pettigo, Whether it's foul or not, it's going to be called. Yep. You're right. Pettigo will check, place back in for Lobie. And then Engel will return to the lineup place in Colopy. So Pritchett on the night. Again, this will be her first trip to the free throw line. She's 85% on the season. 20 points, four rebounds, three assists, and she's got a steal. She's played 36 minutes. She's played almost the entire way so far. She makes the first, give her 21, and leads up to 11. It's the largest lead of the night for either team. And she misses the second. The angler will come out with the defensive rebound. We're fortunate Bears. to make one up right there, the 80% free throw shooter. Feltner has the basketball, working off the screen from Engler. She picks up her dribble, though. Engler on the post. She has it to the free throw line. She'll dribble back out, working against Nally. Step back three. Shot off the front of the rim. Tough shot, fresh off the bench. That's their sixth attempt here in the fourth period of ten shots. Yeah, and the, and the, the bad part of the six attempts is we've made none of them. It's only one field goal for the Bears here in the fourth. Lee finds Pedigo, guarded by Frazier. Very patient on the offensive end. Yeah, Campbellsville's certainly happy right now to just kind of take their time, run their motion offense, and take shots at the end of the shot clock. Finds Nally all with the bucket. They're going to get Englert with the bump, and that'll be her third. And that'll send Nally to the line to shoot two. She's two of two on the night. Great job offensively by Campbellsville right there just of taking their time and getting the shot that they won. And, uh, that's an experienced ball club, Charlie. That's, oh, what, that's what you want out of your senior-led team. Allie will miss the first, so I have one more. And the Bears have held the Tigers to two field goals here in the fourth, but the Tigers have held the Bears only one field goal yeah, here in the fourth. Allie's played a lot of minutes in this second half and done a really, really good job, and I just jinxed her from the free throw <laughs> line probably, but uh, we needed that. We needed those free throws yeah. right there. Felton over to free, being guarded by Bertram. English got the basketball, spin move at the free throw line. Has the basketball, knocked away. Knocked away once again. She tries to corral the ball on the floor. It's going to be a jump ball. Wow. How is that not a foul? Yeah. She and grabbed be, her by the ankle she went by. Bert, Bertram's a scrapper, and she, she got after it now. Just ended up getting the turnover from, from the Bears. And it'll be a jump ball, and that would be a turnover. I mean, not turnover, excuse me, possession arrow will favor the Tigers up by 11 with two minutes and 15 seconds to go. There's a good deflection here by the by the Bears. Hey, and that's going to be off oh, of wow. Lee's hand. We'll, we'll I thought that was, I saw it come off of Feltner's hand, but then the ball re changed direction once again. Wasn't a whole lot of argument. Maybe nope, nope. They're, they're a little closer than we are. Uh, Freeze looking to trigger the basketball inbounds. Finds Frazier. They need points, and they need him quick. Frazier has looking for Engler. Now he finds Feltner. Feltner drives. Picks up a dribble. Got Shots up. Walk there for sure. Free offensive rebound. Shots up, no good. And Lee will come away with her 
fifth, third rebound of the night. Excuse me, Pedigo, under two minutes to play. Bears trailing this one by 11. Yeah, the, the Campbellsville has really put uh, the clamps on us offensively. They've done a really, really good job defensively on uh, on the on the Bears to this point in this fourth quarter. Lee has the basketball working up field on the top ten on the shot clock. Crossover dribble. Now he's got it. Now looking for Pritchard on the inside being guarded by Haley Free. Her shot's up. No, it doesn't draw anything. Feldner comes away with a defense rebound. And that's going to be on Pritchard, I believe. Yeah, that's that's un, uncharacteristic of her probably right there. If you miss a shot, you're going to get back in this scenario, not not give us a chance to shoot free throws. But we will certainly take it with a minute 28 to go and be able to score some points while the clock is not moving. Her second. I'll send Feldner to the line to shoot two. 69% on the season. This will be free throws three and four of the evening for the Bears. Wilkes returned to the lineup replacing Nally for the Tigers. Yeah, Nally did some really, really good things there in her time on the in this fourth quarter. Got five rebounds on the evening. Got a block. Feltner's first free throw is up and good. Give her seven. Bears within ten. I assume we're going to see a press if we make this free throw, Coach. Is that correct, do you think? I, I would say we're back in our one, two, two, three quarter court here. And even make or miss, you got to you got to pick them up. Pritchett comes over with the defense rebound for the Tigers. Come over to Pedigo. Uh, the hard part is that Campbellsville's got at least four guards that can all handle the basketball on the floor at all times. Lee has a basketball guard by Feltner. Gets it over to Bertram, looking for Wilkes on the post. Engler now guarding Wilkes on the inside. Engler working hard. Pedigo's with the basketball. Five on the clock. Gets it to Bertram. She gets out with the bucket. Engler will contest. Ball on the floor is going to be a – going to come away with it and a turnover back over to Pritchard. And and the back hard it part out. is that that created another shot clock possession when we when we recovered that ball. Lee has the basketball up top. Feltner will apply pressure. And the Bears' 12-game win streak is in serious jeopardy. Engler will be called for the bump. That will be her fourth. Yeah, you're in the position. You have to start fouling in, the, in that area. And, the and Nally will turn the lineup, placing Wilkes. They're doing a little offense for defense substitutions here from, from the Tigers. Bertram be her first trip of the evening. On the season, 74%. She'll make the first. That'll give her, that's her first point of the evening. Yeah, she, ma she makes her impact on the defensive end. She's a, she's a gamer on that defensive end. She makes both of those. That gives it a 66-54 lead. Timeout, Coach Williams, I believe. Yep, and let's we'll just keep it right here. I don't know if it's going to be a 30 or a 4. It's going to be a 30-second timeout charge to Coach Williams. So the Bears trailing this one 66-54, 38 and a half seconds to go. And, Coach, you know, uh, as far as statistically, uh, Coach Williams is going to look at this fourth quarter defensively. He holds the Tigers 2 of 9 from the floor, 1 of 3 from deep. They go five and nine for the free throw line. I mean, you hold them to 10 points in the fourth, but you go one of 12 over six from deep. Yeah, that, you just couldn't find the bucket in the fourth quarter. There's no other way to put it. I don't think our effort was poor. I don't think our, our game plan was poor. Just there's nights where that ball doesn't go in. And I think, you know, we talked about it a little bit at the beginning of the game. I think their defense kind of wore us out a little bit towards the end with the shorter, shorter bench that we normally have. Feltner will carry the basketball and bounds over to Engler, back over to Feltner, who is going to attack the bucket. Step back, jumpers up, rattles around, comes out, and Pedigo will come over with the defensive rebound. Yeah, now, now it's kind of the time you just, you're down 12 with 20 seconds. You just want to play good, solid defense, try not to foul in these scenarios. And we had 10 well, a 10, uh, 10 second violation. Talk about playing hard there. That'll be the 16th turnover of the night charge for the Tigers. Again, the Bears have turned over 14 times, and Back on the backboard here, they uh, Campbellsville's got 35 boards. The Bears got 29. Uh, pretty even with, evenly played ball game. It's just the lack of offense from the Bears here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, if you you shoot the percentage that we did here in the fourth quarter and and still be in a in a in the game a little bit, you, you should be happy with that. We just couldn't find the find the hole tonight, especially against the, the, the third ranked team in the country, the Campbellsville Tigers. So as the time will. Will click away and the Bears 12 game win streak will come to an end with a 66-54 defeat to the U to the Campbellsville Tigers.